Hello guys and welcome to Matt's Beamer. Today's video is a short video explaining about a certain malfunction that many of you have had. So I decided to make a video for you. Many of you have had the drivetrain malfunction light and after that there's usually loads of messages saying um, reduce power etc. If you get that message don't panic, but not straight away anyway. So what situation usually puts that error light on, on your car? That malfunction light usually comes on when the engine is under load. For example, when you're pulling away, when you're overtaking or driving up a steep hill. Even normal driving conditions can put this light on. And also um, when it is cold. So what happens is the car's computer can detect there's a fault so to protect the engine and gearbox and you, the car goes into safety mode or limp mode. Um, this allows you to get home safely um, without damaging the car or the engine. So what kind of symptoms can appear when this um, message appears? Well, one thing is that the car will start running rough and the car will start shaking. Sometimes when you're idling, if you put it into drive, the car might just cut out. Sometimes it can cut out when idling anyway. I've seen that some cars with this error can also put out extra smoke out the exhaust, which is not good. Another telltale sign is when your car is in limp mode, your car will not change gear. For example, it won't go up or down the gear when driving along. It's just basically stuck in one gear. But you can put the car in park and reverse. And another one is that the car may not start at all. So apart from them symptoms, there may be some more. If you can think of any other symptoms, please comment down below because it's nice to help each other as a community, as we're all still learning. So what should you do if this happens to you? It happened to me a few years ago. I was driving in Moscow and about 60 miles an hour when this message popped up. Um, I panicked for a second because I'd never seen this message on my car before. So I pulled um, off a few kilometres down the road in a safe location, which was a petrol station. I shut the car off and I started it up. But what I should have done really was turn the ignition off and wait for about five minutes. This allows the car to sort its head out. So basically, by me turning the car off and on, kind of reset the error. It's still there, but the car allowed me to get home safe and at a normal speed with no issues at all. Um, the error didn't come back for a few more days. So I did this a few times and to be honest, I should have investigated it straight away. So what I should have done was check the oil level in the car and also check, um, keep an eye on the um, car's engine's temperature. For example, the oil temperature. To do this, I did make a video a few years back about the secret menu. So if you want to see how to get in your car's secret menu to check temperatures, um, please find that video. So another thing you should do really is to go and get the car scanned. Or if you have a scanner, do it yourself. Because there's obviously a reason that the error popped up and the car should have saved it in the system, even if you turn the car off and on. So if you have your scanner, um, try and scan the codes from the engine's DME and the gearbox's um, EGS. So what are the common problems which can put this light on? So if the car is misfiring, there's a chance that it's the spark plugs or the coil packs. If you want to know how to diagnose a coil pack or ignition coil, um, I can make a video for you. Just let me know down below. With some cars, there could be an issue with the high pressure fuel pump. If the, car, if the pump isn't given enough fuel, the car will cut out and obviously struggle to run. Um, this usually happens if you're pulling away quick, overtaking or um, basically requiring more fuel from your engine. Some cars with higher miles um, can get a clogged catalytic converter. Um, basically it restricts the gas, gases leaving the um, exhaust and that can cause issues which puts on that light. My issue with my car was um, I, l I let the fuel get a little bit too low which is not ideal. Never let your um, fuel get too low on your BMW or any car because when the fuel gets too low you're basically 
increasing the chance that you're going to get dirt into your engine and fuel system and all that which clogs it all up. Apart from me letting my fuel get too low, um, the petrol in Russia isn't as good as in like the UK. That's why I need to use the best fuel as possible in Russia. Luckily for me, this fault only happened about four times. Luckily for me, this error only happened about two or three times. After that, the car was perfect and never had this light appear again. But I did use my scanner to see what the fault was. And it did tell me that there was problems with the, um, the fuel I was using. As you may know, with the N13, the injectors can be an issue if you don't drive the car hard, like me. <laughs> so that's why I had an injector problem a few years back. Not because of the low fuel, but because I just pooted around everywhere. I don't, I don't drive fast. So it's also worth checking your fuel injectors if this um, error pops up. But remember, to scan the car first. If this error though happens usually in the cold weather, it can be due to the um, the battery messing about. Or you might have something in your um, 12 volt socket sucking the life out of the system. So it might be worth checking your, your wires on your um, phone charger too. Some people may get the error light appear after they've got the car serviced. For example, um, someone might have left a connector unplugged or they may have dropped oil on the engine and it's got into the electrics and messed up that way. So there are so many things <laughs> which can cause this issue, so please get your car scanned to save yourself money. So here's a basic list, not the long twaddly version, of what can cause this issue. I'm going to read it off the screen now because my brain is a bit frazzled. So old spark plugs can cause it, faulty core packs, the catalytic converter can be clogged, the high pressure fuel pump not sending enough fuel through the system, as well as dirty fuel and low quality fuel can cause this issue too. Faulty fuel injectors, turbo injectors, no, turbo issues, mass airflow issues, and some people say even the head gasket. So it can vary so much. Sorry, I'm trying to watch this video now because as I said before, my battery doesn't last long at all, even though I've used um, two batteries. Um, if you can think of anything else which would be useful for this video, please comment down below, because it's very useful we share our information with each other to help each other learn. Anyway, thank you so much and take care. Goodbye.